Hey YouTubers, Ryder Brin here, and today I'm going to show you how to clean up your context menu using uh, CCleaner. Now CCleaner is a great program to clean up things on your computer. It is kind of an advanced program. There are some things you can do that you can really mess up your computer, so be very careful with it. Um, but what I'm going to show you how to do is clean up your context menu. And your context menu is when you application key on something um, or right click on something, it's the menu that pops up. And a lot of programs install things on there, um, some things you may not use. So uh, what I'm going to do now is is uh, show you how to use that option. And we're going to open up CCleaner by going to the CCleaner icon on the desktop, or you may have it in your start menu. C. Well, I'm going to go to my desktop, Windows D. Windows D. Folder view, list view. Not selected C cleaner. 2451 C. Kia C. C C C. Calibre C. C cleaner. I'm going to enter on that. Enter. Pirate from C cleaner dialog. Online help check for updates now. Dot. Dot. Cleaner button. Alt plus C. Check for updates. Okay. Dot, and I'm going to go Alt T for tools. Alt T. Tools button. Alt plus T. Okay. And I'm going to tab until I get to the uninstall. Tab. Options button. Tab. Uninstall button. Okay, now I'm going to down arrow to startup. Startup button. And I'm going to press my space bar. Space. And I'm going to tab until I get to the Windows tab. Tab. Syst. Tab. Drive. Wiper button. Tab. List view. Not selected. Yes. A tab. Windows tab. Okay, now I'm going to right arrow to the context menu. Internet Explorer tab. Schedule tasks tab. Context menu tab. Okay, now we're on our context menu. And when we get to things in here, there's going to be the option to, to disable or delete. I don't delete anything because it may be something that I want later. It may be something I don't know what it does and find out I needed it. So I simply disable it so I can come back here and enable it. So I'll kind of just show you a couple of these how it goes. Uh, okay, and now that I'm on the context menu, I'm just going to shift tab once. And that's going to get me to my list of items. Shift tab. Let's view. Not selected. Yes. Directory 7-zip. Igor Pavlov. C. Program files x86. 7-zip. 7-zip. DLL. One of thirty-three. Okay, so you heard it say yes. That means it's enabled. You heard the program name was Seven Zip. Um, I like Seven Zip. I can application key on something and tell it to extract it. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that uh, there. I'm going to down arrow. Yes. Directory. Seven Zip. Igor Pavlov. Yes. Directory. Add to VLC Media Players Play OC. Program files x86 video land VLC VLC. Okay, and you heard that was Add to VLC Media Player List. Um, I like that because I can application key on a song and click Add to VLC Media Player List. So I have that enabled. And down arrow again. Yes, directory of Asta Vast Software C. Program files all will software Vast 5 Ash SH64. DLL. Alright, that's my Avast. I can application key on something and check uh, for viruses if I want to. I'm going to leave that enabled. And I went ahead and done this. I'm going to show you the ones that, that I disabled. Um, re enable it and show you how to disable it. No directory browse with Corel Paint Shop Photo Pro X3 Corel. Int C. Program files X86 Corel Corel Paint. Okay, you heard that say no. That means I've disabled it. And it's browse with Corel, Corel Paint Shop Pro X3. I don't need that, so I'm going to go ahead and application key on that. Applications. Context menu. E. Enable. E. I have enable. You would have disable. Um, if it's enabled and you want to disable it. I can re-enable it. I'm going to go ahead and enable it and show you what you would have. Enter. Leaving menus. Let's view. Yes, directory browse with Corel Paint Shop Photo Pro X3 Corel. Int C. Okay, so that's enabled. Now, if I don't want this to show up anymore, here's what you're going to get. You're going to application key on the item you don't want. Applications. Context menu. D. Disable. I. Okay, and you have the options to disable. Delete. D. Delete. Save to text file. Dot. Dot. S. Save to text file. I'm not sure what that's for. Open in reg edit. Dot. Dot. Open o. in reg edit. Y you don't want to do that. That's your registry editor. Leave that alone. Open containing folder. P. Open containing folder. All that does is open the program files folder where this um, DLL or EXE happens to be. So what you want to do, what I want to do is disable it. Open. Saved. Delete. Disable. I. And I'm going to enter on it. Enter. Leaving menus. Let's view. No directory browse with Corel Paint Shop Photo Pro X3 Corel. Int C. And program now files X. That program will no longer show up on my. Um, context menu. Um, you may have a lot. I think I believe mine said something like add 33. Uh, let's see. No directory browse with Airfan View, Airfan Skillion C, program files x86, Airfan View, I view 32, x1 thumbs. Okay, it didn't say uh, how many. Um, I think I had 33, 34, something like that. You can go through all these, choose the ones you want, you don't want. Then when you find out um, as you're going along as you're using a computer that maybe there was something you disabled that you need, or there's something you didn't disable that you don't need, um, 
then you can come back here and mess with these files again. Remember, don't delete. Disable. Um, and also, I found that there are some things that don't show up in here for some reason. Some things I'd like to get rid of that aren't showing up in this list. So it doesn't show everything you have, but uh, it shows a good majority of it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section. If you like my videos, please subscribe. And if this video helped you, please rate. Thank you.